let's have a quick learning of right and left shift of oxygen hemoglobin dissociation curve. Right shift of the curve, R for right shift, R for release of oxygen to the tissues. So whenever there is a need to release oxygen to the tissues, the curve shifts to the right, like hypoxia, anemia and exercise. When you say oxygen is released to the tissue, it means if this is hemoglobin, oxygen is removed from hemoglobin and then released to the tissues. So oxygen hemoglobin affinity is less in right shift of the curve. What are the other factors which can cause right shift? Right means something good, something positive. So we'll place all increasing factors. Increase in H+, increase in CO2, increase in temperature and increase in 2,3 BPG. Left shift of the curve. L for left shift. L for tissues are left without oxygen. When will the tissues be left without oxygen? When all oxygen is with hemoglobin itself. So hemoglobin is holding all the oxygen. It is not giving the oxygen to the tissues. So oxygen hemoglobin affinity is more in left shift of the curve. What are the other factors which can cause left shift? Left means something negative. So we'll place all decreasing factors. Decrease in H+, decrease in CO2, decrease in temperature and decrease in 2,3 BPG. Stored blood can cause decrease in 2,3 BPG. So, stored blood also causes left shift. Fetal hemoglobin has more affinity to oxygen. So, fetal hemoglobin also can cause left shift of the curve. R for Bohr effect, right shift. L for Haldane effect, left shift. So, right shift is called Bohr effect, left shift is called Haldane effect.